Once upon a wasted time, a teenage boy stared at a TV screen, magic mirror reflecting his face, alongside the fairest of them all. But no, Cinderfella, you shall not go to the ball, for you were born in Never Never Land, and you shall never never leave, never never achieve, never never believe in more. Their land is far, far away where the princes and princesses play, and you were just a frog. So he hopped along with the other lost boys, donned red riding hoodies, followed the white rabbit down the K-hole into a wonderland of eat me, drink me, smoke me, snort me. All the while, this Jiminy Cricket chirrup in his ear told him he was playing puppet to people's expectations. Wore the clothes of a big bad wolf. Outside, there were bigger, badder wolves who'd tear through straw and sticks, had no fear of rich shit housemates. Got beat half to death by seven dwarves who loved a bit of the old Snow White, kept his lips tight. But two little birds went to three little pigs who had minister cautions that did not ease his bruised face, his battered ego, and left him with a reputation as a grass. Just as his tail were getting grim, he came across a princess, not a damsel in distress, but a heroine, who showed him the distance between Never Never Land and Far Far Away. He was not so far, far away, it's just. Between these two lands lay a bridge, and under that bridge lay a troll, bat blind and stone deaf, but could smell the fear and the doubt and the desperation to get out. When she held his hand, apprehension melted away like a wicked witch in water. On the other side, she gave to him a kiss. And he awoke, still a frog. But for the first time, with the hope of one day becoming a prince.